Welcome back to another episode of War of Divisions. Uh, this is basically cheese versus cheese. Uh, I wasn't expecting to run into this yesterday, but um, since I did, uh, I guess I can make a video about it. Um, so we're, we're just uh, so if you're just here to see the number one cheese build, skip to the second battle. Uh, I'm already running a cheese build with Double Quick and Federica, and that is uh, for the past couple of seasons the strongest build in um class matches, uh, but there is an even cheesier build you can do in uh, free matches because the map is so small. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing the build, uh, skip into the skip to uh, the second battle. Uh, without further ado, we'll start with uh, my class matches from yesterday. Thank you for turning into another episode of War of Divisions. Uh, I've uh, kind of been kind of busy lately because my girlfriend pulled her wisdom teeth and I gotta take care of her. Um, that being said, uh, next week I'm pulling mine, so uh, I'll probably record some videos beforehand and then upload them on a uh, timer. So that way, uh, that way you guys will still have some content uh, for those of you who are like uh, watching daily. Anyways, uh, I only have about an hour left before the reset, so uh, basically I'm gonna hope I can get rid. Of, I'm gonna basically hope I can knock out these five uh, class matches real fast, and then I'm gonna go to arena and I'll probably knock out maybe five or ten arenas. Uh, but this time, but for arena, I'm probably gonna go for it quick. Wow, Ice versus Thunder. This is a cool team. I think he might be really fast here. Okay. She is. Uh, this is Ice versus Thunder. Uh, I'm ranged, so I gotta make as much space as I can. Uh, Stall uh, is not gonna be able to make it through here, so I absolutely need to give her Quicken. Uh, hopefully I can kill Gilgamesh or um, Rosa. Rosa should be able to hit Skull with uh, Ice Arrow, but Skull has some defense, so hopefully he'll live. Uh, Agrius probably can't one-shot him. Uh, I don't know what the, the Rosa's running though, because Rosa is actually pretty scary. But they should still be somewhat together. Is he gonna die? Yeah, he's gonna die. Alright, nothing I can do about that. So, we're gonna go for a quicken barrage here, and then we're gonna go for a second barrage. Um, hopefully, uh, I can tag, I can kill one of them. Uh, and then once, uh, and then once it's only Agrius stuff, I might have a chance. Uh, he's definitely running Time Mage, so I need to, I need to snipe him if I can. Okay, barrage. Uh, he doesn't die. Okay, that kind of sucks. Oh, I got the Rosa. Um, I probably shouldn't stand right there. That's kind of asking to die. Uh, I don't think Agrius has the range to kill me from there. But I didn't have the time to really work it out. So three range will get her there. Okay, her quicken, his quicken didn't land. So well, that's basically GG for you. Yeah, that's GG for you. I'm gonna quicken her. Uh, bar I'm gonna barrage her and I'm gonna run. And then I just have to kite your Agrius to death. In a 2v1 while I still have Neeplu? Yeah, there's no there's no chance you're gonna win here. Over. And here's where the Chuckable card made a hell of a difference. Because if I didn't have it, I would not outspeed them. Uh, and Skull, Skull would have just straight up died, and that would have been that. And you're the Kuta Krad. Oh wow, that was a lot closer than I thought. But that's fine. I had Deep Blue next turn, anyways. Uh, and because of my uh. <laughs> Because of me posting this with about an hour left to reset, I'll probably just straight post this without edit. Uh, so, hopefully, this will be good. Unfortunately, you guys will have a lot of dead time with, uh, with 
the initial placement and the weighting and etc. Um, I think in the end, I'm, you might even see me skip a couple with uh, Arena. I guess that'll be an interesting to see, thing to see. I'll try not to make a habit of it. <laughs> uh, I'll just pick a guy and be like, my chances of winning are 80% and then skip. Uh, another thing about <laughs> fighting this in the last hour, you're very like, it's sometimes it's difficult for you to find an opponent. I actually do think canceling the, the, the search and then searching again helps, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, I would recommend watching this on two times speed at this point because I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Um, you might actually see me do a full last hour rush situation. Okay, there we go. It's another knee flu. I wonder if they're also running Quicken. Um, seems like they have a little bit more attack than me, so maybe not. Maybe they're just running single Quicken. Okay. Uh, yes, this is Quicken. This is a different style of Quicken, but it is Quicken. Basically what this is, is it's Quicken, um, it's Quicken turn. So you run with this, first turn, then second turn you use, uh, Eldiora Ultimate. And then you just run right up with, uh, Super Stern and you hit, and you hit us with it. And this is why Eldiora's Ultimate is S tier in the game. You can basically one-shot, uh, you can full turn anybody in the game with Odira. I wonder how- oh, yeah, and you only need to hit two of them. You don't need to hit yourself with it. It automatically gives it to yourself. So let's see if she gets another turn. I didn't even get to get a turn. I actually tried running this before. So I'm gonna get a D-Spell spread right here for a Spider Rain. Ouch. And then I'm gonna get Hazard Cleavers. That's GG. And this this team is definitely running. Um, this is basically the best that money can buy. Uh, it's top. It's level twenty Odira Ultimate into a uh, into a House of Beowulf card because I'm running Chuckable, I'm running Bells, and I'm not faster than him. Uh, this is also a uh, capped out Gilgamesh. Uh, capped out Gilgamesh TMR. I believe it's a 50% chance of him getting that haste. So basically that is considered an all-in gamble, kind of. Because if the Gilgamesh gamble doesn't work, um, you kind of start off on the back foot. But even then you're not in such a huge disadvantage that you can't overcome it. So I guess that is a decent showcase of uh, what the top bill can do. Uh, sadly, my Odura does not have 20 uh, limit break because it's only useful in manual PvP. Uh, so I don't really run. I don't really run 20. Oh my god, it's him again! All right, let's see if I'm unlucky enough to get hit by that crap twice. <laughs> I believe the Gilgamesh ultimate is 50%. Basically, let him do the shit again. Green edge. And he gets the CT up again. Oh, that's GG. It's basically just watching him kill me now. <laughs> okay, my ultimate. Uh, it says Mystic Dash. Hmm, I wonder where Keen Edge is from. Oh, this is not, um... This is the Rob TMR, I think. This is the King Rob TMR. Uh, ouch. Uh, not Gilgamesh TMR. Gilgamesh TMR is a 15% chance of activating. Rob TMR is, uh, 20. I mean, Rob TMR, I think, is 100. Let's see. I got time while he's doing this to me.
restores the ET 500 to allies. Yeah, uh, this is actually um, a top tier TMR or manual. Well, not much you can do when you run into cheese. If I'm using cheese, I have to accept the cheese as well. At least my cheese, there's some counterplay. That cheese, there's just no counterplay. Uh, the only counterplay there is if you're faster than um, is if you're faster than him. And even then, it doesn't matter because he's gonna still lap you. And that's why, like, this map isn't used for guild matches. Or, I mean, uh, class matches. Because of how close it is. Uh, this map is so close that it, uh, it basically doesn't, uh, if you run into any kind of, like, quicken build, it doesn't allow you to get any, uh, you, you don't get any, uh, any chance at all. And this map is very prone to people getting Mediana bombed. You just, uh, back then, what happens is uh, people open up a Mediana and they run four steps and then use the ultimate. And either two of your guys die or all three of your guys die. Uh, it is what it is. I'm running cheese too, so I can't really complain about cheese. Uh, but yeah, it's very, um, it's rare to see the, uh, Rob TMR be used. So, Rob is very underrated. That kind of makes me want to go level him. Just so I can, uh, just so I can perpetuate the grief. And just troll other people with it. But yeah, uh, it's, and that's actually a really good combo. Uh, soften everyone up with the minus defense. And then Hazard Break again. Well, Hazard Break already softens defense. I figure what he would have done was uh, use Quicken, uh, use Quicken on the uh, Stern, but that doesn't really work because then he he only has the AP to do one Hazard Slash or one Hazard Crasher. All right, Magic Team. This is probably Rain Eldira Leela. Hmm. Uh, pretty close. Rain Eldira uh, Mediana. Uh, that basically means it's a free win. So that, this is four. At least the matches are nice and fast. I actually tried giving them giving her two quickens right off the bat. It doesn't work. If you only get one quicken at a time. My opponent seems to be on auto. Never mind. Is he? Uh, I can't really tell from that movement. Sometimes people have auto on right away, and then they turn it off midway because they forgot. But I can't really tell. But then again, I don't think it really makes that big of a difference. Actually, I don't want to be there or all because I'm going to get jamming thrust. Oh, if I can kill the two of them, that doesn't make a difference. Yeah, this is uh, full auto. Well, uh, I don't really have the time to edit it, so... It is, it is what it is. I guess you guys will just watch me fight a computer. Rain runs a ton of, uh, outs. Rain runs a ton of, uh, faith, so it's very easy to randomly kill him. And he's too slow. Okay, he's gonna get lapped.
that keen blade combo I saw, um, I'm actually running into that quite a bit lately. Uh, I ran into a different one, I think, with, uh, with casters, either Mediana or, uh, or I think Leela or Dira, and then basically both of them ran up and did their ultimate. But basically, uh, Keen Blade, um, enables that. And even that setup, that little L-shaped setup that he had. So that is becoming more of a prevalent thing here. And it's actually pretty rough to counter. It's pretty hard to counter that if you have no, like, if you got no, uh, if you don't get, if you don't get to have a turn, there's really no way for you to counter that. Um, and as it is, I don't have, uh, I don't have Black Rose Helena or a uh, House of Beale off, so I don't really have a way to counter it. Uh, Woody wins. I run into him all the time. I believe this is the fifth one, so we're going to hop into Arena after this. Which is surprising. I was expecting that to take me about a good 20 minutes. Uh, looks like it's... Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's him again. Uh, it's the double evade... Oh my god. It's double evade charm. Uh, uh, this team is actually really strong against me because I don't have... Uh, I only have one surefire attack. I only have one sure hit attack and he has full life. So it's like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, he's very likely to full life and kill me. So really what needs to happen here is I need to tag him with a couple of barrages. In order for me to effectively kill him. Because Venera has some missile resist so that she will not get one shotted by a sharpshoot. And if they have enough faith... Uh, they'll rise her, and I wouldn't have a chance here. But so much for a quick win. Uh, this one's actually gonna take a while. It all depends on where the Ayaka goes. Uh, I might try to first turn blow up the Ayaka. Uh, I don't know how much dodge the Seizure is gonna have. Uh, both of these might be running 100% evade, so that is a legitimate concern. Because if they're both running 100% evade, I don't really have that much of a chance, because I only have 3 or 4 sharpshoots. Yeah, 4 sharpshoots. Uh, that's actually not bad, in terms of like accuracy. Oh, I actually hit him too. Hey, haste on yourself. Uh, yeah, I have to get the goal again. I might need to deal with uh, Caesar first by. Uh, I might need to deal with Caesar first by sharpshooting him. Uh, I don't know if Venera can actually get close enough to kill my uh, Erika, but uh, I'll probably get close enough that Ayaka will use her ultimate. Oh, nice reflex. That might have been able to kill me. Uh, okay, I need to kill her right away. I don't have like a 20% chance of hitting her though. How much chance do I have of hitting Caesar? He's six? That's a miss. Oh, I actually hit her. Hmm. She's gonna use her ultimate, and then whoever she hit, whoever she heals, I have to kill the other one. And then hopefully Skull has the ability to tag one of them. That or I use Skull for. Uh, oh wow, you're charging an attack. Do you want to die? Oh, he'll survive. Okay, this should kill Caesar though. Where am I here? Okay. Do I get to pull before you? I do. I get to pull before the Ayaka. Uh, that's probably not good because I'm lining myself up for a hazard. Uh, 
I'm lining myself up for a uh, what's that called? Uh, I'm lining myself up for a horizontal shot. Okay, here I'm gonna get off here. Go somewhere where you can't hit me, and then I kill. I'm gonna kill Ayaka. I'm gonna kill who I can. Uh, Ayaka's gonna run up here for a full life. And I need to kill her before she full lives anybody. She's going for Caesar, I guess, because Caesar is about to. Because Caesar has her move next, and then maybe she'll try to charm me. I'm actually the. I'm concerned about Caesar because of the charm, and he's actually playing this really well by splitting them up. But the problem is he's getting hit by barrage, and I'm getting really lucky with the hits. So for no other reason, uh, he's just losing due to luck. This team actually is very difficult for me to deal with. Any two turns from Federica should kill you. Do I have arm shot? Do I have arm shot, okay. Was a lot closer. Even though it looks like all my guys have 4 HP, <laughs> I won that by luck. Because uh, one, I reflexed the snipe dagger that could have outright killed me. Uh, I I was able to tag him with a couple of like 50 or 60 percent chance to hit stuff with uh, barrage. So it was a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, that being said, uh, so much for finishing this within 20 minutes. <laughs>